Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome to this full review video of my new Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's get started. Well, as you can see, here's the Samsung Galaxy S3 in front of me here. Uh, now, I've been using this phone for just over a week now, and I've got to tell you guys, I'm really, really pleased with it. Really pleased. Now, what I want to do in this video review, I want to go through some of the features that you can come to expect with the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, things like the camera, uh, some of the uh, features with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.04, and uh, yeah, and the things like the display uh, and all that good stuff. So let's get started with all this. Now the first thing that uh, I actually want to show you guys is what the home screen looks like. Um, now, as you can see, I've uh, I've got a slightly modified version of the uh, the graphical interface here because you can in install it. For those of you that that know a lot about Android phones and have used Android phones. Uh, quite a bit over the years. You'll know that you can change your your launcher, what they call launchers, on the, on your Android phone. And uh, I've I've chosen what we call uh, what they call rather uh, Go Launcher Pro, uh, which changes all your actual icons and the way your your icons move along the screen and all that good stuff. And you can change your weather widgets uh, and obviously all your you know, sort of your dock icons along the bottom there. So it does look a little bit different from the standard um, ice cream sandwich user interface. Obviously all the icons rotate and that's got a nice transition when you uh, slide your finger across the screen. Um, but anyway, let's switch the screen off for a minute. Now look at this guys. This is a beautiful screen. It's a 4.8 inch AMOLED display, HD display, uh, with a Gorilla Glass. Uh, and you guys are probably wondering what, what, what is Gorilla Glass? Well, Gorilla Glass is a really toughened glass that basically is scratch resistant. Uh, I haven't got any screen protectors on this phone and I probably won't ever need to worry about screen protectors because the glass on this screen is so tough and it's, it's like I said, it's scratch resistant. Um, I have seen a few uh, test videos where people have tried to scratch the, the screen here with like a set of keys and the screen is really, really tough. Um, uh, some of the uh, features, let's have a walk around the phone here, you've got a, a front facing camera here which records in 720p HD video at uh, 30 frames per second. Um, you've got your speaker grill at the top there, for obviously when you're obviously taking a call. Uh, and then on this side, you can just about make it out, there's actually a little LED there which flashes uh, which is like gives you like notifications for when you've got like uh, text messages, emails, and all that good stuff. It are flashing various different colours there, depending upon what the no notification is for. Uh, along the bottom of the phone here, you've got your home your home screen button here, uh, and you have actually got two touch sensitive buttons on either side here, which you can't actually see there. But if I actually press the uh, the home screen, uh, you can actually see. They're lit up there, but when they're not lit up, you can you can't you don't even know that they're there because uh, they do disappear after six seconds. That light should go off, yep. And you, again, if you can't even see the, you wouldn't even know that there are buttons there unless you press them, and they light up again. Uh, going down the bottom of the phone here, uh, we've got a micro USB uh, connection there, which I think you can just about make out, guys. Uh, for charging your phone and obviously for when you want to connect it to your computer. Along this side of the actual phone itself, uh, if you can make this out, I'm trying to keep this nice and clear so you can see. Uh, this is actually the power on and off button here, or for when you want to lock your phone. Uh, that's your button there along that side. There's no other buttons down on this side. Going over onto the other side of the phone, um, basically there's your volume up and down controls there, uh, as you can see. Going on the top of the phone guys, we've got a we've got a, a headphone jack there, which you can just about make out underneath my, uh, my uh, case there. Uh, we've got a little hole there with the, the actual microphone, which is just underneath my case. Uh, that little section there, that little cutout there is 
for when you want to actually take the the back uh, the back off the phone to access your battery. Uh, looking at the back of the phone here, we've got the uh, the, the eight megapixel um, camera here, which obviously also records in 1080p HD video uh, at 30 frames per second. We've got the LED flash there on the left hand side, and also the speaker which is there on the right hand side. So that pretty much is the phone, the walk around on the phone. Um, now let's go into some of the uh, the settings here on the phone itself. Like I said to you, I have uh, got a slightly modified user interface here. I'm running Go Launcher Pro. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but what I want to do is go into the settings on the phone and show you uh, some of the uh, options that you can access when you're in the settings of the phone. You've got your Wi-Fi settings there, obviously you can switch your Wi-Fi on and off, you switch your Bluetooth on and off, your data usage there, you can actually see how much data you're using when you're connected to either Wi-Fi or over a 3G connection. Um, we've got some other settings here, flight mode as well, which uh, is pretty standard on most mobile phones these days, you can switch that option on for when you're on an aircraft. Uh, S-Beam is a really another good little feature for when you want to transfer files and videos to other mobile phones. You can just switch this option on and if you know anyone else that's got a Samsung Galaxy S3 or I believe even an S2 it'll work on. Um, I think this option will work on both. Uh, you can transfer videos and pictures and all that good stuff using this little feature here. Um, really really nice. Um, what else we got here? Uh, did, 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 sound options here. Obviously, again, normal sound options here for silent mode. You've got your volume up and down options here. Uh, you've got your vibration intensity. You've, you've got your ringtone uh, options here for selecting various different ringtones. Um, device vibration. Um, default notification sounds. And uh, yeah, the list goes on. Uh, key tones, if you want to have uh, sounds turned on for when you're pressing keys or using the touch screen. Uh, you've got screen lock sounds. And uh, yeah, a lot of options there in the sound 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 itself. We've got display options. Now you can adjust your obviously your brightness up and down here on the actual phone, or you can switch automatic brightness on, which I don't tend to have on normally because I find that when that option's switched on the screen brightness does look really really dark so I tend to keep that option switched off. Um, what we've got here, auto rotation for when you want to have it in either landscape or portrait you can lock the screen depending upon what rotation of the screen you've got it in or orientation. Uh, touch key light duration, that's the two uh, touch screens along the bottom here. You can set the duration of how long they actually are light up for. And then you can adjust your actual fonts as well here guys. Uh, you've got a choice of a few fonts there you can adjust to various different fonts which is really really cool. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different options on here guys with the actual phone itself. Let's go into... Uh, Let's go into uh, the battery, okay. Battery on here guys, you can see um, obviously how much power is being used by various different um, applications here. Now as I mentioned in my unboxing video of this phone guys, I was a little bit, I was a little bit concerned to be honest regarding the battery itself on this phone because from experiences that I've had with other Android phones in the past, the battery life has always let them down, uh, and I was really concerned about you know how good the battery was going to actually be on this phone. And I've got to tell you guys, after using this phone now for just over a week, I've been really impressed with the quality of the battery and how long it actually lasts. Really, really good battery life on this phone. I can't stress that enough. So for anyone out there that's a little bit reluctant to buy this phone because of battery, it's not something you need to worry about. The battery life on here is brilliant. Really, really good. Uh, you've got Applications Manager here, where you can obviously see what applications are running. Uh, you, can, you know, so that's a, a, another good little feature. I suppose it's a bit like Task manage, Manager in Windows. Um, again, you've got security options here. If you want to set a pass lock for your screen for when your phone is locked, 
uh, you can do all these different security options here on the phone really really good uh, dock controls here for obviously you can switch lock sounds on and off, dock sounds on and off as well rather uh, on here accessibility auto rotation, speak passwords uh, a lot of different uh, access accessibility options here guys on the phone as you can clearly see font size as well you can adjust the font size you can have it on tiny small normal large or huge and I always tend to keep mine on small and uh, yeah so that's pretty much some of the uh, the settings there guys on the actual phone itself um, let's go into about this device and then as you can see uh, it's the model number GTI9300 running Android version 4.04 uh, and all that good stuff there now whenever there's an Android update guys there is this option here which you will check uh, and you can check for software updates and it will do a check here, it will contact the server and there's no update here available at the moment because I am running the latest version of Android which is ice cream sandwich uh, guys uh, other features with the camera as well uh, obviously as I mentioned it is an 8 megapixel camera on the back for taking pictures really been impressed with the quality of the camera on this phone I must admit and that's actually doing a video now as you can see and we can actually stop that and play that video back Let's have a little look at that video. There you go guys, see there's the video. Uh, taking pictures with this camera is very very nice. Um, now I've got a little bit I've got I've got a little lamp here next to me which is why you can see a lot of light on the actual box itself, but let's take a picture. Uh, Let's have a little look at this. Okay, so we've just taken a picture of that box there. Let's have a little look at it. And there it is, guys. Really, really nice quality, as you can see there. We can zoom in. Good quality, as you can see from the camera there. Um, again, I mean, you know, there's a lot of different options with the camera as well. Um, going into some of the options there that you can see. Uh, you've got self-portrait, flash, auto on auto focus, auto focus rather. You've got a continuous shooting here. Um, there's an option for continuous shooting, which is burst mode. Uh, HDR, small shot, beauty shot. We've got panorama shots. All these options here, guys, I haven't actually used yet. Um, and if I scroll down, we've got a macro for when you want to take close-up shots. We can switch the time on if you want to put it onto a timer. We've got effects here as well. Again, we can do we can do negatives, black and white shots. We can do sepia shots. Um, resolution, I've got it set to the highest resolution for when I'm taking pictures. As you can see there, uh, you can adjust the resolution options there on the actual uh, screen. We've got white balance there. You can set it to daylight, cloudy, uh, different lighting options there, or light for lighting conditions. Uh, the list goes on guys, you've got anti-shake, auto contrast, guidelines, image quality I've got set to super fine, but you can adjust that. Uh, must admit I'm really impressed with all the different options uh, that you can uh, tweak with the camera itself, really really good. Uh, and then you can obviously switch it to the front facing camera which you can see me there. How are we doing peeves? And then if we just switch it back again. Yeah, the camera on here is very, very nice, and like I said, the front-facing camera uh, does actually record in a full 720 HD video at 30 frames per second, and the back-facing camera uh, records in full HD video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. So the camera on this phone is really, really nice, and for those of you that have watched my last few video vlogs, uh, they were all done using the front-facing camera on, on this phone. 
Okay, now if we go into the actual phone option option itself, uh, there's what the uh, <coughs> the dial pad looks like, guys. On a ice cream sandwich, really, really nice uh, big keys here, numbers that you can actually see uh, for obviously, you know, when you want to make a call. Really, really nice. Along the top here, you've got your just about make that out. You've got your keypad. You've got your call logs. Your favourite, so you can obviously have all your favourite contacts there, and if you press this one, and all your contacts come up here. Really, really nice um, dial pad, guys. I do do like that a lot. Really, really nice. Um, other options here: um, text messaging. Now, like I said to you guys, I'm using Go Launcher Pro, which is slightly different from the standard um, ice cream sandwich user interface for when you're sending text messages. Um, I can bring up the keyboard here. Now, oh, just to point out with you guys as well also, I've got a custom keyboard that I've got installed on here. This isn't actually the standard keyboard that comes with Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, this is um, this is actually the Go, uh, the Go Launcher Pro keyboard, which you can actually install as an add-on, which is free by the way. It doesn't cost anything to buy. Um, but it has got um, some extra little features like you can have smiley faces as you can see there guys for when you're sending a text message which you don't normally get uh, on the normal uh, the normal uh, interface of our ice cream sandwich and you can do actual audio messages you can send pictures and all that good stuff I'd highly recommend really for anyone um, that has got um, an Android phone to actually download um, Go Launcher Pro. It's well worth it and it's free. There are some um, paid uh, applications which you can pay for with this uh, Go Launcher, but again, for the best part, most of the uh, most of the uh, the features are completely free. And uh, there's part of Go Launcher's uh, plugins uh, menu. Uh, you can obviously change your wallpaper, your themes. You can go to the Go Launcher Pro store. You've got your settings there, which obviously just bring up the normal settings that we were just looking at here. Um, but yeah, you just slide your finger up to bring that dis display up. Um, now you've got effects as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, I had mine set on, I believe, what was mine set to? Uh, I can't remember now, but anyway. Again, transitions are really, really cool. You can change your transitions um, by going into your actual effects option there and choosing various different effects here, as you can see. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you some of the little features in Go Launcher. Really, really cool. So uh, I'd highly recommend you guys download it and try it out on your Android phone. So one of the other really, really cool features with this phone is the actual speech software itself, similar to Siri on the iPhone um, 4S. Let's uh, bring it up and show it to you. So you just double tap on the home screen to bring this up. Let's say a few commands. What's the weather like tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow is periods of rain. How cool is that? How many people live in the UK? I wonder if it'll do this. 61.9 million people. How cool is that? 61.9 million people live in the UK. So that really, really is another cool feature, guys, as you can clearly see. That pretty much wraps this video up. Um, one other feature that I do want to mention before I go with this phone is the fact that the screen can automatically detect, uh, or the camera can automatically detect when you're looking at the screen. So if you're reading a book or something like that, the screen won't automatically switch off after like 30 seconds or whatever. It, the camera automatically detects if you're looking at the phone, and if you are, then the screen will stay on. So that's another cool little feature. Uh, anyway, coming to a close with this guys, I just want to go through some of the actual um, specifications for the phone again. Uh, the screen itself, like I said, is uh, it's a, a 4.8 a inch AMOLED HD display. 
um, which is a really really nice quality display. It's a touch capacity touch screen at 16 million colours. Uh, like I said, it is for 4.8 inch um, 720 by 1280 pixel screen. Really, really nice. And it's got a Gorilla Glass on here, which is a special type of toughened glass, which is scratch resistant. Really, really nice, uh, nice glass on this screen. The camera, like I said, is an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash. Uh, some of the features of the camera is simultaneous HD video and image recording, geotagging, touch focus, face and smile detection and image stabilisation. Um, it can record obviously video like I said in 1080p on the back and 720 on the front. And it's running the Android version 404 which is Ice Cream Sandwich. It's got a quad core 1.4 GHz Cortex A9 processor. Uh, it's got all the acceler accelerometers on there, the gyro, proximity, compass, and uh, biometer, all these different cool f features of the phone itself. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'm going to leave a full product um, specifications for this phone down in the video description. So please go and check out the description down below for more information on this cool phone. This has been the Samsung Galaxy S3 review. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that I've covered most of the uh, the features of the phone here. If you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button along the top and please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this review video. And uh, like me, if you've got a uh, if you've got a Galaxy S3, Drop me comments down below in the comments box and let me know what your experiences are of this awesome phone. Thanks for watching once again guys and I'll speak to you later. Bye for now.